two years ago today, I started The Warning. And it's grown into a vibrant community where tens of thousands of people are engaged in what's happening to our country around the world, understanding and orienting towards the events of the day, making sense of them without having to wait for a corrupted journalist book deal to find out the news you needed yesterday, two years from now. I started the warning because there needs to be fearless voices who are not intimidated by a growing menace in fascism, who are indifferent to being patted on the head in the green room, who don't aspire to sit at the head table of the White House Correspondents' Dinner, who understand that the purpose of political power is the public interest and public good. The warning is a place where you can find reality, truthfulness as a first quality, pragmatism as an essential virtue. This dangerous moment has not arrived overnight. It is not a building block of disconnected events like a giant Jenga game that has sprawled up from the ground, spontaneously generated from nothing. We are on a river with a current, and we have moved far down it over these last nine years. Donald Trump, for nearly a decade, has been America's dominant political and cultural figure. He is the biggest star there is. The national media can't look away. The politicians who were appalled by him now lay prostate at his feet. The warning is a place where I will try to make sense of it all for you, to lay it all out in fearless and direct terms, to connect it to history, to talk about what's coming, how to prepare for it, and how to stop it while there's still time left. But no matter what happens, two years from now, the warning will be here, and it will be growing, and it will be a voice in the constellation of American voices that advocate for liberty, for justice, for all people, for all Americans. We live in a consequential time, and during my adult life, the journey down that river has been monumental. When I was a young man at 21 years of age, some of the greatest historians of their time predicted history was at its end. The liberal democracies had triumphed. Pluralism, humanism, equality, human rights had prevailed against human slavery. It was a respite, a season, but it has not endured. Whether it was squandered or whether it was history's natural arc is a different debate. But here we sit, Today, two years after the founding of the warning, in the middle of a profound political crisis, here at home, and a growling, growing menace around the world. The world is moving towards war, towards conflict. Come to the warning. Join this community. Raise your voice as part of it. Become involved in your community at home. Be a good citizen. It means being an informed citizen. Welcome to the warning community. I hope you'll stick around. I'm Steve Schmidt. This is The Warning, and I invite you to join, subscribe on our Substack, on our YouTube channel. Follow us. Welcome to the community.